Leap of faith, fans. Welcome to this week's vlog, where I'm going to talk about running a half marathon and all the training that went to it. Why did I run a half marathon? It's because of this right here. Rest in peace, my friends Josh Johnson and Alex Reed. If you remember this podcast, Pod 75, from early mid November, unfortunately, my friends were hit in a drunk driving accident and they passed away. So, a group of us, all our friends, like 60 people, signed up for that San Diego Bay to Bay half marathon, as Alice was a marathon runner and we wanted to run it in her honor. So, I'm going to show you what the half marathon is. I'm going to talk about my training, show you videos of the training. And then we're going to share the half marathon how I did. So use this to help yourself or any half marathon training. Use this for whatever you can do to be successful. Rest in peace. This is going to be a vlog series of running a half marathon, all the training, the mental, the physical of going over it. So let's dive into it. Okay, y'all. Let's go through the San Diego Beach and Bay half marathon 5K, 10K run. So this was the half marathon my friends and I were all training for. It runs all around San Diego. So let's show you what the actual race looks like if we do the course half marathon it's really beautiful so you will see throughout the video me running through this so you start right here you get to run by sea world you come through the bay run all the way up the beach come back through the bay and then get to the finish where we start and end of course if you did the 5k or the 10k you can see it's right here and it stays in the bay area it was really cool. It's a great race. It's a very flat race as well. Not a lot of elevation climb, which makes it easy. And then you're able to see different pace times. So I was trying to run and beat the two hour mark, which we'll see if I did based off it. They also provide you training plans, which is really cool. So overall, the Beach and Bay Half Marathon is an awesome half marathon for you to run. It's a very beautiful view. It's very flat. It was April 10, 2022. So let's go through the training and show you what it was like. To save time, I'm not gonna show you all the training. I'm gonna go through my Strava. I have never run more than probably like six, seven miles at one time. So it was a lot for me to get through. So you can see here, the first run I started with was six miles. So I wanted to make sure I got a six mile run. This is my house in Orange County. I went forward from that. Body felt good. You know, when you do long running, you gotta get used to the calves hurting a bit, body ache. So I wanted to pace myself six miles, seven miles, eight miles and continue to go higher. So my second run, again, just get the conditioning started doing half the race so i did six miles you can see my time's about an hour the goal breaking two then you also want to kind of break in some uh pace runs as well so this one i did just a four mile run try to go super fast to try to you know work my pace so that way i'm in the grunt of it i can move forward and then i really went after it and i pushed myself higher so then this run i did 10 miles so i went from as you can see seven miles to 10 miles and I broke it up. I was able to do it in about an hour and 36 minutes. So I have a two hour, 210 pace. So I'm kind of there. And you can also see I'm doing the run as if it was the half marathon. I'm already living in the area. So I get to do some of the course, which is great. So I practice it, my body's used to it. Breath felt good here, was able to move forward. And you can see that this was early December. So I'm breaking my way up. I did 10 miles before December. January did a nine mile run. So again, trying to keep that pace going and uh, feel good throughout the whole race. So then this will take me to uh, where I'll show you my next run, which was about 10 miles. I'll talk about it and then I'll do what I did to try to help me out. So let's get dive into that part. Today we are road runner sport. I'm getting a new shoes. As you can see, hello shoes on the wall. I have flat feet. I've been using terrible running shoes and this half marathon is killing my knees. So I need to get proper shoes. So if you look this way, we're taking tests. So you're able to do it, prepare for it. This is what you're gonna see on the screen on my test results. So time to get some new shoes. Right here is where I'm getting insoles made for the shoes. So this is them creating an insole in the position to put inside the shoes. I tested out three different pairs of shoes. One was a reference. And then two were the ones that the people at the store told me. 
and you know want to do the jumps runs you can see here with the insoles my feet are super flat oh my god super flat so i needed that i also needed to get a little bit of an arch so me just showing it here ended up getting a pair of shoes that i liked was able to put the insoles in and then test them out through the running and you can see that nice little pair of running shoes so i'm excited that i was able to get them and then use those for a better running experience and make me better. We got him. We're about to go run two hours. Okay, y'all, we can see here, I did my first half marathon training. My Strava get messed up, I stopped it. So total, it was two hours and 10 minutes with a goal of two hours. First time ever running a full half marathon. Pretty good, knew I could try to cut off 10 minutes. In addition, what you can see here is I basically ran a lot of the course, probably you know, a little bit less than a half, kind of go through the whole day this to all is flat how do i feel terrible body hurt super achy super numb the last like two and a half three miles i almost felt like i was gonna throw up i was gonna faint i had to stop and power through my calves hurt my body hurt all of it so i made sure to do the right recovery which we'll talk about in the later part of the video uh, eat right smoothies ice stretch all of it but you can see here this is january 21st i started training in november within three months i pushed myself from six seven miles to 13.1 13.2 miles so really happy really proud really excited of it definitely was tough to do this and we'll do it again so this is the first time i ran a half marathon ever in my life it was in training and this is three months before the actual race four months before the actual race so i could build up and then taper down when the race came so this is great no, I can do it. Let's try to beat the two hours and we keep going throughout the training. So you all can't see me. When I started this, it was sunny out and now it's dark. You get the beach sunset in the background. You'll see by my picture, I just ran 5K sprints up a hill. 1.6 miles, weight vest, 1.6 knot. Why? How does that help me with the marathon, half marathon run? Builds up endurance, builds up when you get super tired, being able to do the sprint, kick through it. So that mile eight through 13, when I'm feeling fatigued, I have that extra push. <sighs> Two months away, baby. Oh right, y'all. Happy Thursday. It is 80 degrees here in San Diego. It's beautiful. And I am running a half marathon. Second time running a full half marathon for my training. About four and a half miles in. I'm gonna take a break, show you how beautiful it is. Absolutely love it. it makes life so much easier when this is your scenery. You just go. I did leg day two days ago, so my legs hurt really bad. Back squat, front squat, deadlifts, all of it. So this is hard, but I want to keep you up to date as I'm going. A little sweaty as you can see, looking good. Let's keep it up. I'll give you an update again, mile nine, ten-ish. At mile seven and a half, five more to go. Pretty tired, arm sore, back sore, leg sore, but we're gonna power through. About hour and 10 minutes in, so I'm pacing for like a 210. Goal is break two, four, two hours for that for race, so I'm doing good. Beautiful San Diego, let's keep it up. <sighs> Need a break, nine and a half miles. About 5K to go, so we're gonna run the rest of that way. Come back towards the beach, and we get that sunset. <sighs> my back's super sore, my legs are sore, upper back, all of it, so I'm pushing through, but this makes the race actually easier, so. Let's get to the finish, baby. I ran so long, my headphones died. Knowing that's probably gonna happen. Wait for it. Always come prepared with second pair. Put these on, 11 half miles, pretty close. So let's keep it going, baby. Almost at the half marathon. Second pair of headphones. The other thing as well is I'm at 149, hour 49 minutes, so may get over a tad two hours which is good because it gives me something to continue to get to so let's finish i'm so tired and i need food i'm so hungry y'all we're done two hours 14 minutes 14 miles i hit the half marathon being done at like 204 so i missed the two hour mark but it gives me more opportunity to get better and train but training harder by doing 14 miles. So when I do the race, 13.1, 13.2 feels much easier. Looking pretty cut right now. Need to hydrate, need to eat, need to relax, need to do recovery. So I'll show you what that looks like. But let's get it, baby. Congrats. Second half marathon finish ever in my life in training. We're there, baby. And again, y'all, 
Mamba mentality, mind over matter. This is not easy. My body hurts. I had to stop. It's not like I ran the whole time. I took some breaks in between, got water, sat down. So if you're a chain for half marathon, go at your pace, follow a plan. But if you need to take breaks in between, that's fine. It's not gonna be easy. My body hurts. I'm starting to chafe a little bit, I feel it. But we made it, baby. We made it, we made it through. The goal would be to run the whole way, but I'm not there yet, so it's okay. Just do what you can at your pace and keep going. What does recovery look like? Banana. <laughs> Get the potassium back. We're going to ab roll. We're going to foam roll. We're going to stretch out. We're going to make a smoothie. The rolling will help with the lactic acid in your legs. Stretching obviously stretches out the muscles. Do a little bit of a cool down smoothie. What's in it? You've seen me make it many times. The protein, the berries, banana, ice, honey, spinach. So good, good recovery. I'm a Theragun to, uh, you know, break up the lactic acid. I love my Theragun. And then make a nice hearty dinner, which will probably be an omelet because I can put a lot of good veggies in it, get protein in it with some bread to recover. So you just, I'll saw the videos of what I'm doing. That's how you recover for me personally. And then go to bed early because I'm going to be tired. Got a couple of chafing rashes by my armpit. So put this on the armpit. And then for the knees, you saw the ice, put some tropical team on it to help with the soreness and the ache. So again, recovery. So this is gonna be it. Two months away from the half marathon. Did the half marathon today. Second time in training did it. So I'm feeling good. Saw the recovery, how we get after it. So keep doing training and whatnot. We'll keep updating you when we get closer. Alice, rest in peace. Alice and Angels, we're here for you. We miss you a lot and we're doing this for you. Now we're at March 5th, and I just did my third half marathon in training. I forgot to turn off the time, so it definitely was a little bit shorter than two hours and 30 minutes, you can see here, because uh, it would be longer. Felt pretty good. You can see by my notes, did not rash, did not chafe. I did get pretty sore, especially the last mile or two. I really had no energy, so I needed to eat better and make sure I have the energy for me or bring gels with me. Pretty much ran most of the race here, so I ran around the whole bay to do it. Uh, my Strava again messed up, it sucks, so I didn't get the actual math, but you can see I did it. So now that I'm at March 5th, this means the race is a little bit over a month. I'm pretty good, ran three half marathons, so I'm in shape for it, I'm trained for it, so my body is now where it wants to be. I'm not getting the same type of soreness or chafing. So now I can taper down and do more like, say like eight to 10 mile runs, and because I know I can do that extra three or four miles, my body's used to it. But now I actually could do some digital nomading. So I'm gonna go on my trip and you'll see me do my runs in Miami and Puerto Rico. So try to stay up while you know you're traveling is tough. And then we get the race. So let's get into it. Allison Angels. This is okay, I crashed a little bit, y'all. I mean, obviously I took the red eye, worked all day. So the jet lag hit me a little bit. I need to take a nap. I don't nap ever, ever. So I feel a little bit better now. Gonna go for a run. Try to maybe get five, six miles in for an hour, go around to the beach area, run a little bit, and then try to get some cumin fuel. I'm in little Havana. So let's go enjoy the run. I'll probably get some cool videos of the run. Might hit the video for the half marathon training, and we'll keep going. Look at some of these houses. Two miles from my run, by the water. You get some beauties. It's definitely humid. Feel that. Per the California. Look at that house. Kind of like the Everglades a little bit. We ran three and a half miles from Little Havana, Little Havana, excuse me, to the seaport. All the skyscrapers. This whole block right here is all skyscrapers. Definitely humid. Definitely feel a bit. That is uh, thin air, San Diego. It's a little bit harder. I hit my sweat point, so I feel pretty good run back into the sunset. It's gonna be nice. Let's get it, baby. Whew. Okay, we're back, y'all. Just a seven and a half mile run, about hour and five, hour and 10 minutes. In Florida, first time. Pretty humid out here. It's not crazy humid, but it's definitely humid. You can see me sweating a little bit, a lot of it. So the first three, four miles was hard. And then after that, I felt pretty dang good, not gonna lie, pretty good, good breath. My knees a little sore, which kind of sucked. So I just kind of got to get used to like the humidity out here. But when I do my half marathon run in San Diego, it'll make it that much easier. So 
end of the digital nomad day. This is like a two part music video for both, which is cool. Uh, get to go get some Cuban food for dinner, shower off, relax, and probably go to bed pretty early because I'm tired from the red eye. But also I did this run with the red eye, which is cool. So it shows I'm in shape. It feels good for the marathon, which is literally like three, four weeks away now. So pretty good, pretty good in shape. Time's getting better, feeling fit, all that goes with it. Alice, rest in peace. We miss you so much. Continue on. Alice's Angels, let's go. Okay, y'all. It is Monday, April 4th. I was sick for a week. Not even beautiful. Puerto Rico, as you'll see. Going for a run. Trying to do maybe six to eight miles to try to stay ready for the half marathon in seven days. What's the idea? Let's go get it. Let's show you. We're there. Hope I've never ridden it. We'll talk about it. Hey, y'all. We're out here on a run in Puerto Rico. Kind of ran from where I'm at. More residential. Got the beach right there. Feeling good. Let's see how the breath does. 76 to 8 miles. After being sick, we'll still have it. We got the half marathon in seven days. Alpha's Angels, one love. We'll keep it going. Give you periodic updates. I'll get to the beach so you can see the beach a little bit. Then we do the San Diego runs. Now you'll get these runs. So, half marathon training. See my seven days, we're almost there. See how we do. 1.5 in, keep going. Beautiful, baby. It's also hot and humid, so I feel it already. I'm really sweating. I'm not a big sweater. You can feel the humidity to keep this here, so good workout. Keep going. Wow, look at my hair. I look bad, but like, I just had to stop. Like, look how beautiful this view is. Off the side of the bay. <laughs> See, you can still hear it. My breath feels pretty good, though. Definitely feel like my abs, like, not being in condition as much as I should be, but feel good. Look good. Just running around the island. This is beautiful, I'm giving you some views of it as well. It's great. Let's keep it going. Sorry, y'all. This is just so I'm at three and a half miles. <laughs> Excuse me. 26, 27 minutes. It's not bad. Definitely feel it. So we're just take a break for a second. That's my breath. Enjoy the view. This is amazing. This is the last day before the Rico. Love it. Just absolutely love it. Perfect one for running weather. Well, humid, of course, but you can't hate the scenery at all. All right, y'all. So we did eight miles today. Felt pretty good, and I took some breaks to show you guys the video. Oh my god, the scenery is so cool, so cool. But I kind of did four miles straight on the way back. You know, wanted to keep the pace. I felt pretty good. My knees a little sore. I'm like, I gave it some time. I think I had some tendonitis in it from just all this running, which sucks. Even though I didn't do anything for a week, it, it definitely feels a little like numb when I run so I'm gonna need to ice it like get a chance and also when I go home after the run I just I'm not gonna do a lot of this stuff to keep it some time but I felt good I'm proud of myself I mean it's super hot and humid here so I was dripping sweat so definitely will be easier in San Diego but it's not like that so we got six days of race day may get another pace run in you know four or five miles just to kind of keep the breath but other than that I'm feeling good I'm looking good Alice of Angels, we're gonna be there, full support. Thank you so much for watching the video up to this point. I know I've been showing you all this stuff. I really wanna show you the progress it takes to get to the half marathon, the progress it takes, the motivation to get there and do it, and the half marathon is gonna be really fun. So we're getting close, we're getting close. Stay with us. Until next one, bye y'all. Good morning, y'all. It's April 10th. I'm fine. I forget which day it is, but it's race day. You can see it's still dark out. It's 5.30 a.m. Time to take an Uber to race start. It starts at 6.30 a.m. Try to break two hours. We're gonna try to break two hours for 13.1 miles. Again, you saw all the training I did. We were in this lobby many times going over how the races went. Now it's time to go do the real thing. Being a little sick and traveling, we'll see how I do. Anticipation, everyone on the route probably giving you support, so keep going. 
half marathon, I lost those angels. Let's go get it, y'all. Race day. Race fucking day. Any number of races in San Diego and the surrounding area, Dr. Paul Marsh, a fixture, and we so appreciate him being with us today. Again, this event is produced by Beyond Events. Christine is some of the hardest working people you'll ever meet. Hi, right, y'all. 15 minutes race time, starting to fill up. We will give you guys updates periodically. I'll tell you the start, but you know, I'm trying to go for two hours, so I don't want to stop. I'll tell you some updates as we go through, get some good videos, and then after we're doing a hangout, we'll show that, get some good stories. Austin Angels, time to start. Six months of training. Out here. What you want to do 145 Sandra and Chuck. At two hours, period 10. This is the start of the only finish line. Well, T, 16 minutes, look pretty good. Got the drone pump. Let's keep it going, baby. What a beautiful run. I'm gonna train a lot of this stuff so it's a little bit easier. Halfway done, baby. Same run as always. Beautiful. Backside now. We do this all the time. But... One mile. Let's get it. It's final countdown. Break two hours. Let's get it. One mile left. We made it. Half marathon done. Austin Angels on training. So validating. So worth it. My calf is cramping up the last mile and a half, two miles. That was tough. Get some potassium. Get some water. Let's go take a seat. Oh, we'll talk in a second, but you can see how the mind of a matter. Power through. I was calling you at the Six same months time. of training, being sick, all the hours oh of running. <coughs> Excuse me, it feels really good. You finished! You can see the energy here. You can relax and come out. Oh, that was amazing to get done. I'm a high right now. I'm a little tired. Oh, so rewarding. This owl so much. <coughs> so, so many of our friends running. Okay. Felt really good to <laughs> do it for her. Have all the support. Keep pushing you. Running around with people made you keep going. Try to pace myself. So I'm really happy. I'm tired. And we see this when I was doing my training. You got the ice recovery. You got the smoothie, the tea. But today was race day. We did it. After an hour, now I got home. Can decompress a bit. Super proud of myself. Broke the app and broke two hours, 155. Didn't then really stop, you know, had water, had the gels coming all throughout. So feel really good. All my friends were doing it. We're gonna go hang out. Uh, again, doing the honor of Alice. Very rewarding to have Mind of the Matter push through, train, see the success. Do I wanna do this again? Probably not. Do I wanna do a full marathon? No way. But very rewarding, very rewarding. Very rewarding. Mind of a matter, as we always talk about in Leap of Fate, you can put your mind to it and you can achieve it. And I did it, so I'm very proud of myself.